Welcome back to the Big Build series. And in this part, we've got the house to ourselves now. We're gonna go in and do a soft strip. We're gonna take a few bits and pieces out of the way. And basically, I'll show you just exactly what we're up to inside. So if you come on in, wet the, the light will adjust. So in parts of the building, we're gonna to try to leave a couple of the rooms totally intact. For example, there's a room to my right which should remain intact. There's also an ensuite bathroom off that which should remain intact. And potentially the floor joists and the ceilings can remain in these areas because they were done quite recently. So as long as the structural engineer is happy about that, we should be able to leave those. But as we enter into the old part of the building on this side, you can, clearly see that it's quite low, the ceiling, even for me. And I can even touch it. It's not often I can touch the ceiling. So we want to take this one up to the level of the one on the other side and make sure the floors are all the way level, all the way through. So all this is coming off. Everything's coming out. Some of the walls are staying. Um, the external walls are staying. The flooring's going. We're going to re-sort the plumbing out. I don't like this, where you've got a tail over here and a radiator over there. So obviously there's window been repositioned and then they put a rad to suit that. So we'll make a better job of that. This staircase, which is naff as well, it's got like um, oak cladded over the top of just a normal bog standard staircase. All this is gonna come out and we're gonna reposition the staircase and make a really nice staircase, um, purpose-made staircase for this as well. So we have a quick look upstairs. It's all a bit tight. The headrooms are really bad. I mean, that's a, that would never comply. I mean, straight off of the pitch line here, up to where we are there, we've only got, let me have a look at that, one point, have a little, can't see anything in this darkness, let's get my glasses on, I hate wearing glasses, I must get something done about this, get some new eyes, 1.7, anyone who knows the building regs knows that that's nowhere near enough, and that's just a bulkhead, there's no reason why that bulkhead couldn't have been slightly different. So, and as we come up here, again, your headroom's impeded. When you measure from the center of the pitch line here to there, it's still nowhere near enough. So all of that's got to be changed. The stair spindles have been put upside down as well. I hate that. So, you know, they don't go this way up. They go the other way up. The flooring's a load of rubbish. It's just like bodged. The skirting boards have been put on. I've never seen skirting boards put on like this. I've even gone to the trouble of trying to do some sort of crude pelleting here, but the mitres, I mean, look at the filler in there. I've never seen so much filler in all my life. That's no carpenter who's done that. And then you've got this over here. I mean, I mean look at that, look. Look at that gap behind that skirting board. And what they've got there is they've got cheap white wood. It's not even good joinery grade. Used it as skirting boards. They haven't sealed the other side. It sealed this side up and it's just gone wherever it wants to go. They haven't fixed it back properly into the studs. So basically guys, it's all a load of rubbish. You can see how tight it is in here. Even for me, as I say, I'm only little and it is, there's, n there's nothing in here worth keeping. I mean, there's, there's an insulated plasterboard with a blue foam on the back. Now I've never seen a blue foam on the back, but obviously I'll find out what that is. Someone in the comments will say, yes, this is a sewing zone we use that for, whatever. Um, Here's just another stud. I can, funnily enough, that chimney stack above is old, but underneath the chimney stack is in uh, thermalite blocks. Whether or not they've blocked around it, I have no idea. So again, we'll have all that out and we'll expose all that. These doors are obviously going because they won't fit the new openings. Um, this is the floor, which hopefully we'll be able to keep, but all the rafters are going. I'm having the gable off. The gable's going as well. Cutting it right back, I'll put a massive big timber gable on there as part of the timber frame of the roof. So everything's super rigid and super strong. I've um, got lots of voids here. I've been able to look behind and see what's going on here. And basically all this is gonna come out. The funny thing is with the electrics, the electrics was really well done here. The fuse board is really lovely, but it's all in armored. So all of the sockets, so the power, the lighting, is all in an armoured cable, and that's because they were experienced problems with, um, with rodents. You can see evidence of poison there and all the rest of it. Now, we cured that when we first started working here. We found where they were getting in. It was just a hole outside, um, quite hard to find, but we did find it and cured it. So, we don't want any more rodents, and when we build the roof, we'll make sure the integrity of everything, all of the roof, there's no gaps, there's no 
drafts, there's no issues with insects or rats or squirrels. And that's it, so the bathroom's gonna get obviously ripped out and that's it, let's go down, let's have a look downstairs. Oh, here's an interesting one as well. I made some access here through this because there was no access into the end here to have a look at what was going on. That's how I found it. You've got a little bit of rock wall stuffed in at the eave. Then you've got 25 mil of like polystyrene just bodged on there. You've got a little bit between the rafters. And then you've got this kind of thermal board as well. Nice bees nest over there. Always find them in a roof. So it's all a bit naff, really. And... Anyone who just throws all this rubbish behind the, um, the voids, I hate that. It's a real pet hate of mine, that. So, there we go. Again, skirting board there, which has got no proper fixings. It's not corked. It's a load of rubbish. Let's rip it out. So, our first job today is actually going to be taking out the kitchen. Now the kitchen's really quite nice. All the electrics has been isolated back to that fuse board, which um, I'll show you actually, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll just if we can get a picture of this. So this is where all the wiring is. You can see all the, all the looms coming away, they're all in armoured, which is really amazing for a domestic dwelling. But this is beautifully done. It's had its regular inspections. It's got a nice key on the side showing what everything is, which is exactly what we want to find in a build as we come in. This is really, really nice. This is gonna be staying. This cupboard's gonna be staying. We're gonna maintain the utility room, put a false roof over it while we're working here. Um, and that should be good. So, we'll have the kitchen out. But we're gonna take it out carefully. But look out, there's another video that I've done for that. It's a little bit too much for this episode. Anyway, we better get on. Keep yourselves peeled. Thank you for joining me on the big build. I'll catch you all again soon.